had to get a tripod because I had a thought that I need to share. <laughs> I also noticed during that process that I'm not fluttering as much anymore because I'm not working so simultaneously on so many projects. So it's easier for me to remember things. It's easier now for me to remember why I'm going in the front room versus the back room, etc. When I was working on five or six things at a time, oh, no, it was almost next to impossible. But I did it. <laughs> I was able to. Um, I went down to get laundry and before I started editing. And I was pondering. And Dom does the laundry, but I like to do my whites. Mm. I like to, my, to do my whites maybe once a month separately because Dom just throws everything in it together so maybe once a month I'll use a little bit of bleach in my water just to make my whites white I don't have a lot of whites like honestly even in fact minus this, this is a, a sheet that Buffy laid on before she died I'm only just getting around to washing it because I'm still getting organized <laughs> um, and so I have one two two towels two hand towels and two face cloths, right? So once a month, I will put them through the um, through their own wash cycle with a little bit of bleach. I don't like to use bleach. It's harmful to the environment. I think it is anyway. I mean, <laughs> I put bleach on weeds and it kills them, so. Uh, well, I don't. My first husband does, the landlord and it kills the weeds, so I don't think I want to be putting that into my, into the soil, into the water, right? As little as possible, which is probably why I don't like chlorinated pools. I'm so opposed to that whole concept of, I'm opposed to actually a lot of things. I just don't feel the need to argue and debate and try to make any changes yet because you can't make changes without awareness first. So, think of all the chlorinated swimming pools, right? Think of all the, just chlorination in general. How many times do you put a cup of bleach or more into water and then just throw it down the city tap or, the, or your well or whatever? Like, where do you think it goes? What do you think it does? It's nice to want to blame other people for the fucking mess of the world, but, you know, we're all part of the problem, so... I'm just trying to be less. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be perfect. I'm dependent on the same system everyone else is, but I do think that I can do better. And yeah, I have more there, but usually this is clean, so I don't, I don't, I have enough towels that I don't have to have everything in one, like if I don't use towels up, I guess I wash in between the towels, right? Anyway, so, yeah, um, that's why, you know, when I have a load, it's a small load, it's a, just a hint of bleach and maybe a quarter cup, if that, for these, what, two, four, six, and of course, this is not usual, this sheet. So normally I'd probably only put hmm, an eighth of a cup of bleach in of that, for that load. And it's just enough to whiten them, right, without harming the fabric, because it too much bleach on cotton destroys the fabric, the integrity of the fabric. And, which means your clothes wear a lot sooner than they should. Um, borax is probably a better, safe alternative, which I do have. Borax, I have all natural bleaches as well. Uh, and I used to have organic bleaches. I don't really understand that concept because I don't really know. It's a powder, so... I didn't do any research yet to really understand. I mean, is that just a, a fancy tool to get people to buy, buy regular powdered bleach, but say it's organic somehow, but it's all chemical? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't research that. If you did, comment section below. Would love to go into that rabbit hole. You know, there's organic that my parents grew up on that I grew up on, that my great-grandparents grew up on, and then there's organic today, and organic today is just, it's all about the money. Well, everything's about the money, isn't it? <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I came in to get the tripod and to talk about the laundry because it just sort of set up 
the talk. It became a talk in itself, and now I forget what the talk was that I was supposed to have. <laughs> so, I think it was about me and Dawn, but it could be wrong. It might have been something else. It might have actually been about the bleach. Who knows? Sometimes I miraculously... Something's crooked here. What is it? It's probably me. No, it's the tripod, Jude. The tripod's crooked. I have an eye for these things. If I didn't, I wouldn't know when to autocorrect. And I do. I do know when to... Wrong way. I do know when to autocorrect. That's it right there. And then we'll take you up just... Hold on, you're gonna go up. Go up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. There we go. Ta-da! Makes you wonder why you go up sometimes, right? Okay, I need to hang this and carry on. Hope that whatever that memory was that was there and then disappeared suddenly and a whole other story emerged. Hopefully it'll come back. <laughs> At least if it's important, it will. <laughs> right now, editing, editing. Oh my gosh. Yep. So I guess I still do have brain fart moments. But it's not just related anymore to being excessively busy.